It was a very disappointed team in the clubhouse after the game tonight. After being swept by the Oregon State Beavers over the weekend to begin Pac-12 play, the Arizona State Sun Devils dropped a non-conference game to the San Diego Toreros by the final of 6-3. We picked things up in the bottom of the fourth. With ASU down 3-1, Andrew Schapp stepped up with one out and the bases loaded. He delivered an RBI single to make it 3-2. The very next batter, Colton Gerhardt, grounded into an inning-ending double play, and ASU had to settle for only one run. That's as close to the Toreros as the Sun Devils would get all night. The final nail in the coffin for ASU came in the eighth, when San Diego's Ryan Kirby crushed a solo homer to deep right center field to make it 6-3 San Diego. ASU rallied in the ninth, putting the tying run at the plate, but failed to score as San Diego picked up their 13th victory of the season. Losing streaks during a long season are going to happen from time to time. Any baseball coach would tell you that. But what Coach Tracy Smith was most upset about after the game was the lack of intensity he saw from his guys. There, there wasn't a lot of fight in the dog today. And um, that concerns me because if, if all the work that you put in, all you know, if, if everybody's going to feel good and everybody's going to be putting an energy and, and, and an effort into something, it's easy to do it when you're winning. Senior starting pitcher Jordan Aboitis echoed his coach's frustration. You know, I think we could do a better job with that as a whole, every, including everybody. So, I mean, I think that's something that, you know, not necessarily we'll work on, but, you know, that needs to be fixed and that will be fixed moving on. Aboitis got the start tonight for ASU. He lasted only four innings, giving up a run in each of the first three innings en route to his first loss of the season. You know, filling up the zone is something that I wanted to do, but I think a lot of their contact, um, I was kind of falling behind in counts. Uh, wasn't throwing first pitch strikes a lot, so uh, kind of got them into a lot of hitters' counts and could have done a lot better job of getting ahead in the count. ASU is now 13-7 and seven after the loss tonight. They'll continue with Pac-12 play later on this weekend when they host Utah for a three-game series beginning on Thursday night. From Phoenix, I'm Cody Acevedo. Back to you.